What's going on guys, Aldrin Nastasio here with FlightPath.com and a couple days ago DJI actually had a product release which was the Zenmuse X7 camera for the Inspire 2. So I was fortunate enough to be invited to the event. I made a couple uh, video clips, the little highlights of the event over in Hollywood at the new house, kind of a co-working space, a really nice place. Also in the middle, middle of the video, I show you a little diagram that I made to show you the size of the X7 uh, versus some of the other sensors and other cameras in the Phantom and Mavic and Spark lineup. So wait for that one. And also they gave away gift bags at the end, uh, which is a little cool DJI uh, bag. And I made sure I grabbed an extra one so I can give it away to one of you guys. So stay till the end to watch that. Uh, enjoy. Table's up. Time to check in. So there's a little promo that DJI put on of some footage that was shot with the X7. Uh, so the X7, the Zenmuse X7 is a new Super 35 sensor. So it's a lot bigger than the X5, which is the previous sensor. This one now shoots 6K and has what everyone's talking about is the biggest deal, which is also the 14 stops of dynamic range. Now what I did here is I created a little diagram just to show you the, the sensor size difference. As you can see here on the outside, the X7 uh, and then the Micro Four Thirds, which is a little bit smaller than that the one inch sensor on the Phantom 4 Pro in advance, and then the really small sensor on the Spark and the Mavic. Now, the biggest thing is that people have to understand is you know the sensor is what really will create uh, the better depth of field, gives you a lot better low light, uh, as well as it collects just a ton more information. That's the reason why you're able to get those crisp footage. And people on the panel that were all also demoing this thing were comparing the footage to cameras like the RED camera. So that was very impressive. A new software that were introduced was also called the Project Vertex. Now this software is, uh, I would say it's fairly new, even though I've seen 3D mapping software before, but what was cool about this demo is that you would do a 3D map of a location of an area, but bring back that software, and then what you could do is actually plot out your flight path through the software by choosing the actual path, choosing the location, drop pinning it, and choosing altitude, distance, and all of those things, in the software, then all you have to do is upload it to the drone and then it'll automatically run that route. they doing flight demos of the new X7 on the roof for sunset. So we're headed up there now. Good to see it. Thanks for watching. Like I mentioned earlier in my video, they gave away a couple of goodies. So here's a pretty cool bag from DJI. And it has a little DJI logo at the bottom here, which is really cool. You can see that. Can you see that? Let's see that. 
as well as a notebook, a little DJI notebook to write all your notes and all your ideas in here. So I'll be giving away this bag. So make sure you like and comment down below if you enjoyed or you got some value from this video. Uh, as well as if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified. Thanks again, guys. Don't forget to comment and I will be picking out, um, you know, uh, picking out a name within the next few days or so. So make sure you stay tuned. And like I said, hit that bell so you know when I post a new video up. Thanks for watching. This is Aldrin Stasio with flightpath.com. Take care.